Full disclosure, I am about to go on a rant. So if you want to skip the rant, go to the three minute, 28 second mark. I should have timestamped down in the video. Enjoy. What's going on everyone? Joel, a maniac here. So today's video is going to be starting off with a bit of a public service announcement for everyone out there. Okay. Hats off. All right. That stays on. If you see my channel, if this be on Twitch, if this be on YouTube for the love that is completely holy, I'm not interested in your digital products. What I cannot stand, I've been getting back into streaming. And what I cannot stand is I post things about streaming, post about my videos. I post about links in my streaming channels. I am getting aggravated. And I don't know if it's just me. If you're a streamer, small or big comment below, I am getting sick and tired of seeing these creators. And I'm sure you make good product. I'm sure you make good overlays. You make good two or 3d arts for VTubers. I'm fairly sure you're using the Adobe product. You got through college to the fullest extent to make yourself some money on the side. But look, I'm not interested. I can't speak for every streamer out there, but I'm pretty sure we're not interested in your products. The reason I state this, do you want to know what people don't want to see an ad? They don't want to see an ad. I'm sitting there watching something. Say I'm watching a streamer. Say I'm on YouTube. Say I'm watching something on Hulu. And all of a sudden this ad pops up. <clears throat> you just interrupted my entertainment. Do you think the thing running through my head is, you know, it'd be fantastic right now if I went out and bought this product. No, your stuff is become an annoyance to me. If you're an ad, these people selling the digital artwork, I want this to be a thousand percent clear. I don't want your product. I can't speak for everybody out there. And I'm sure, I'm sure you make good stuff. I really am. But you want to know the best way to get your product out there. And, and hear me, I'm no expert when it comes to advertising. I'm no marketing designer. I didn't go to four years and piss away hundreds of thousands of dollars at a college to learn how to put a fucking ad on YouTube. But hear me out. If you're going to put your stuff out there, you want to know the best way, the best way to get your stuff out there so people buy your product is you let those entertaining use it. For example, if you advertise Razer, I use Razer keyboards. I use Razer mice, Razer headset, Razer webcam. Take a content creator, take a streamer, take a YouTuber, take a VTuber and put their stuff out there. I, I literally saw an advertisement by Iron Mouse. This is it right here. While I was scrolling on X and it's advertising for a monitor. You want to know why I think that monitor is good? Because a streamer uses it every day and they like it. There used to be a thing where if you want your equipment to get out there, you didn't bombard them with ads. You gave it to somebody to advertise it. But you want to know something? Someone looks at my video and they say, wow, maniac, you know, the, the, the quality of your voice comes through so clear. Blue Yeti microphones, what I use. Logitech all the way. Wow, maniac. What kind of webcam do you use? I use a Razer Kayo. It cost me 30 fucking dollars. I just advertised your product while still engaging in content because people aren't going to tune into a freaking channel to watch an ad. People aren't going to go out there so they look for someone advertising. People selling 2 and 3D art, overlays and what have you, offer it to streamers. Somebody big, I don't care. Somebody growing, I don't care. Offer it to someone because you could be giving them $2 worth of artwork, worth of time. I don't know how much it costs. I never engage, but you give that to them and while they're streaming, they're playing this stuff. Look at all these icons I have when I do my stickers or my tags or my emojis. Look at that, it's advertised. Hey maniac, where'd you get this stuff? Oh, I got it from this person who offered to me right here. Advertised. Fuck this shit, I'm out. The other part of this video is going to be about graphics cards. So if you're like me and you, you don't have six, $700 to go throwing away on a GPU, Intel is coming out with a line of GPUs. Actually, it's going to be coming out on December 13th, which is fantastic because it's right in the time frame where I spent all my free money on Christmas gifts for my family. So I do not have the money to buy this GPU and test it out and let you know how it goes. No! If you're like me, you like having good quality technology and products that are affordable. <laughs> Are you serious? So something I'm going to go ahead and put out there. There is a new form of GPU. Typically, the only ones you really see is usually either NVIDIA, GeForce, or Radeon. And typically, those prices can be anywhere from some low ends to about $500 for a decent GPU, say 12 gigabyte, upwards to, say, $800, depending on what you want, depending on the speed, what have you. What if I were to tell you that for the price of this Asus Dual GeForce RTX 4070 12 gigabyte GPU, $569, as you can see right here, on Newegg. What if I were to tell you, you can get a GPU for less than half that price? You'd want it, right? You'd want to go out there. You want to buy it. In fact, I wish I didn't spend all my free money on getting Christmas gifts for my family. Not regretting it. They're my family. They come first. That's what I do. Some people call me insane. I beg to differ. <laughs> 
What if I were to tell you you could get this GPU right now? This tile of GPU. It might not be from Asus, but what if I could tell you you can get something that has 12 gigabytes of DDR6 RAM? What if I were to tell you it has a PCI Express 4.0 times 8 ATX? Sounds pretty good, right? 12 gigabytes of VRAM, 192 bit DDR6. Now, if you're wondering, you might be like, you're telling me about the Asus Dual GeForce 470 graphics card, right? Wrong. I'm actually telling you about the AS Rock Challenger Arc B580 for 259 freaking dollars. Nice. So as you can see right here, this is on the Intel's website. This is intel.com telling us about their Intel launches, their Arc B series graphics cards. Yes, these are GPUs. Yes, they are this cheap. Yes, they're just as good as the $570 GPUs, half the freaking price, and they're made by Intel. What's new? Today, Intel announces the new Intel Arc B series graphics card, codename Battle Mage. Love it. The Intel Arc B580 and B570 GPUs offer the best in class value for performance at a price point that are accessible to most games gamers deliver modern gaming features and are engineered to accelerate AI workloads. The included Intel X matrix extension XMX AI engines power the nearly introduced XSS2 com comprised of three technologies that together increase performance, visual fluidity, and responsiveness. We're going to watch this little video. Now, before you go asking me, no, I'm not sponsored by Intel. I just wish I had the money to buy this GPU. I am currently running a Radeon 6600 that has eight gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, if I remember correctly, when I bought it. I got it for the exact same price, $250, as the AS Rock Challenger RB580. And what I find is incredible is the 4070 GPUs that are out there right now for $570 are competing with something that's over half the price. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see here, we're on the Asus Dual G4's RTX 470 12 gigabyte DDR6. Okay, so we're going to go down here. So we're going to go down here to the specific specifications. We have 12 gigabytes, 192. We have 12 gigabytes, 192 bit DDR6 RAM. Oh, look at that. Asus Rock Challenger Arc B580, 12 gigabytes, 192 bit DDR6 RAM. We have a core clock speed of 2520 megahertz, a core clock speed of 2740 megahertz. You have one HDMI and three display port. That's pretty standard, but this also has one HDMI and three display port. And it's a PCI Express 4.0 by eight, where this is a PCI Express 4.0. And this is the one thing that's going to kind of get me here. So as you can see, why would you go out and you spend $570 on this GPU when you can get the same thing for $250 on the same website? I'm not signed in or anything. As you can see, here I am. Asus Dual GeForce. I'm not changing anything. This is for this GPU, $570 before tax and shipping, where I'm right here. Click. AS Rock Challenger B580 12 gigabyte, $259.99 before tax and shipping. This is the thing that's going to kill the graphics card industry because GeForce and Radeon have zero competition. Their only competition is each other. So if GeForce puts out a graphics card, say their base model 460, and they're charging you $500 for the 460, then Radeon's going to go, oh, well, our base, so the base 7000 series, yeah, we're just going to put that out for the same price, 500. But now you have Intel coming in and being like, hey, assholes, we can sell that cheaper. Guess what? We're going to sell that cheaper. This is what's going to stabilize the GPU market. This kind of thing will come out. And I really wish I could afford it. I wish I had the extra $250, say $270 was shipping and tax. I really wish I had that money because I'd love to order this GPU so I can bench test it for you guys. But unfortunately, holidays. So if you have an extra $260 and it ain't going to compromise your Christmas, I would highly recommend that you go out and buy this GPU because you can pre-order it. You can pre-order it right now. The release date is on the 13th. That's three days away. And there's still in 
stock. And you might be saying, oh, well, Maniac, why are you putting this out there? Why are you putting this out there if you want this GPU? They're just going to sell them out. You're right. They are. And that's a good thing because if they do and they keep making it, GeForce will lower their price. Radeon will lower their price. And then all the people that buy it, AS Rock, Gigabyte, Asus, PXX, FX, PNY, all these companies are going to start dropping their prices down. I want people to buy this GPU because when they see that they're selling this GPU for half the price, the rest of these companies are going to be like, ah, shit, no, we got to get rid of these things. Uh, drop it. So a lot of people out there aren't fans of Intel. I recently switched from AMD to Intel on my current computer. I have an Intel motherboard CPU and I'm running the Intel DDR5 RAM. And I got to say, I got no problems. This thing runs phenomenal. I love this computer. I would love to have one of these GPUs because I would love to complete this thing. I would take out my Radeon 6600 from this computer or at the very least use it as a backup secondary GPU just so I could run that better GPU. That's all I got for you today, everyone. Hope you all have a good one. Let me know what you think. Are you going to go buy this GPU and pre-order it? You can still get them. And if not, at least I know when I get my tax return, I can get a GPU that's a great upgrade for half the price. I hope you all have a good one. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Stay crazy, maniacs.